I think it was Mark Twain who once said, I didn't have time to write you a short letter, so I wrote you this longer one instead. Spilling your guts is easy. Being concise takes time. Shorter is frankly harder. My name is Justin O'Brien from the Management School at Royal Holloway, and I want to argue the case that small is beautiful when we think about setting assignment word counts. Back in 97, Roundtree said, teachers tend to be trapped in a time vortex that inhibits them from considering pre- and post-university assessment, a position that does not seem to have been addressed. As Heinz and Basso posit, higher education does less than an adequate job in preparing these workers for writing intensive careers. Stevens research with Silicon Valley employers found that students needed stronger writing skills, professional email use and stronger self-expression, impression management and slang and avoidance. The US National Association of Colleges and Employers, NACE, in 2016 survey lists the top five attributes that employers want to see on new college graduates' resumes. The loathsome university essay fosters ballooning strategies, according to Rubin. In the real world, most people don't enjoy reading cover letters, resumes and presentations, they say. Are we in higher education suffering from a form of Orwellian doublethink? The notion that all learning must be assessed using long-form essays feels like Big Brother propaganda to me. We rarely teach brevity and clarity. Higher education seems locked into the elastic essay syndrome. Progress from level four to level seven is evidenced by journeying from described to critically analytical, adding 500 words at each step up. Heinz and Basso said in 2009 that elitist writing tends to alienate readers with its intentional goal of excluding. We try to impress with convoluted language rather than communicating message meaning and intent with direct, expressive language. Would you really kick off an elevator pitch with care to read my dissertation? Better hope for a long power cut. Birnbach revolutionised the advertising industry by recognising the power of short. Cutting padded copy and harnessing the impact of crisp white space provocative images and succinct headlines. In a world dominated by communication over mobile devices, don't we need to bring absolute minimalism into our students' armory so they too can think small, powerfully? It is a beautiful thing, the destruction of words, said Orwell in 1984. Of course, the great wastage is in the verbs and the adjectives but there are hundreds of nouns that can be got rid of as well. Is this what is meant, perhaps, by 2 plus 2 equals 5, I wonder? The skill of being able to boil down a message to its pure essence with not a single redundant word is rather overlooked, in my opinion. The urge to destroy is also a creative urge, says Mikhail Bakunin. Example, the Google search business model. Premium search engine monetized by targeted advertising. Experts recommend that web content should be concise. Not just the word count, but shorter words, shorter sentences and shorter paragraphs, advises Sailor. Writing with brevity, according to Rubin, sees points that are made quickly and shrewdly. Words and other people's time are not wasted. Savin Barden opines that many staff feel locked into particular forms of assessment because of university guidelines and professional requirements. I urge you to break out of a rigid Lego silo universe. Don't be the lingering frog that got boiled. In a more varied assessment diet, less can actually be more. Interviewers often identify successful candidates in the first two minutes of an interview. The rest is just legal box ticking. Is the same not true of assignments? Short assignments can be very dynamic and collaborative. For example, an executive summary in PowerPoint, leading a meeting, making a compelling speech as a radio podcast or YouTube video, writing an email, drafting a business plan, dot, dot, dot. 
with an agenda changed by full cost fees and inclusivity, our primary mission has changed, but our tools of assessment have not. No more elastic essays. Write short.